Hello, it is Friday, June 9th, 2023. I'm Chris Raymond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday puzzle and an exciting Friday puzzle because it's by Robin Weintraub, the queen of the Fridays. And I've seen um, some people in the Daily Solve Discord chat server very positive about this puzzle. People really enjoyed it, which is no surprise. She's a great constructor. And this should be, uh, this video hopefully has arrived in your uh, YouTube feed on time. I apologize about yesterday's puzzle. If you managed to catch that the first couple of hours, it was present only as a 51 second version of the video. I have no idea what happened with the export of yesterday's video, why it was only 51 seconds long. Um, and unfortunately I was out all day, so I wasn't able to uh, re-upload it until much later. So apologies if you were waiting for yesterday's video. Today, today's should be on time. I will double check today's, today's video, which I usually do, but I was in a rush. Um, in any case, this hopefully timely edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Lewis Williams, Camtron, Henrik Koskinen, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shulmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are sustaining this channel, keeping this whole thing going. For that, I am very appreciative. And uh, I'm also very appreciative of the contributions of everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign. So thank you if you've done so. If you'd like to consider that, head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. And there you can find all of the bonus videos uh, available to patrons. And of course, as well, uh, as a benefactor, you can get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug. Um, today after this, I'll be recording the uh, weekly Friday pseudo speed solve of the last week of mini crosswords. So look forward to that. And uh, thank you to everybody who is a patron. Uh, you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server, like I, the place I mentioned a few moments ago, uh, in which people were commenting about uh, Robin Weintraub's seemingly excellent puzzle today. And there's a link in the description to that. And finally, do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. That's a big help as well. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is the 40-something, maybe 45th puzzle by... Robin Weintraub, an extremely experienced constructor and an appreciated one by all, I think. And it was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. Uh, it's a themeless puzzle, as I implied. Robin Weintraub, the queen of the Fridays, the themeless crosswords. So let's get going. Let's start solving. See what's in store. A train might get pulled along it. Well, my first thought, of course, was a train as in train might get pulled along a track. It could, in theory, be a um, long train of address, which is in my mind because I was looking up the model uh, Giselle Bunchen because I mispronounced her name yesterday and somebody wrote in to say, uh, to, to um, correct my pronunciation. And there was a photograph of her with a dress with a very long train. So uh, that could also get pulled along. Anyway, I don't know. District of India that's home to three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Agra, um, so this isn't track. Environmental organization that has ships. Greenpeace? Yeah, the, I think Greenpeace has, has ships probably. Let's see. Modern site of ancient Persepolis. Iran? Okay. Oh, maybe this is the train. Maybe this is the, the train of address. Because it could, it could get pulled along the aisle in a wedding ceremony. Okay, I think that was that was correct. Uh, result of a split decision, um, a split decision, uh, not sure, common middle name, Lee, I suppose, is, I don't know how common it is, I guess it happens, option in a photo editing, I mean, is there some reason I would know common middle name, I think Lee, option in a photo editing app, enlarge, I guess, Animals that all share the same birthday, January 1st. Um, I don't know. Uh, hill worker, an ant, an ant hill. So you think, you see hill worker, and this is very Friday. This is very characteristic of Friday puzzles. Actually, so is this train thing, um, which is this light misdirection. There's no question mark because uh, these aren't using the question mark indicates a bit of punnery, usually either on easier days of the week or when the phrase in question is a very established idiomatic English phrase. But Hill Worker, if you follow U.S. politics closely, you could think maybe someone who works on Capitol Hill 
in Washington, D.C., but it's not enough of a sort of established idiomatic phrase unto itself that it would require the question mark, which means we have this very subtle misdirection. And you, you might be thinking of that other meaning, but in fact, I think it's referring to an ant and an anthill. So what's the result of a split decision? Uh, split decision. What kind of, could it mean split as in a relationship split? I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Lively dance. A polka? Settled on. A lit on? You settled, you sort of descended onto a, an area, you landed there. And maybe it, so maybe it is polka. Singer with the 1960 number two hit, Puppy Love. Oh, maybe it's Anka, Paul Anka. So maybe this isn't enlarged. That would explain why this was looking strange. So if this were that, oh, an enhance. Right, okay. Boy, I've seen some, <laughs> there's some things going on with AI recently that are gonna make, it feels though we all spent ages looking at things like the, um, that computer in Blade Runner that can sort of rotate a still photograph and uh, all those all those crime shows that enhance photographs, none, none of which is real, but it's going to be real soon enough, it feels. Anyway, much debated grammar topic. Um, I'm not sure. Thrown. Could be lost as in I've, I'm thrown, I'm sort of at sea. Um... I don't know. Top club in Vegas. Ace is in the ace of clubs, right? Here's another bit of light, <clears throat> light misdirection. Of course, you think this means, I don't know, a members club or something like that, because you're thinking Vegas, a sort of, I don't know, clubby sort of environment. But uh, nope, we're referring to gambling. Uh, cards. All right. So plastic surgeon's concern. A scar, maybe? Much debated grammar topic. So what is this? C serialization? Or it's what? Uh, much de what's much debated in grammar? Oh, thrown cast is in cast asunder, thrown, thrown aside, that kind of thing. Okay, you've got nothing to worry about. Re relax you or relax man or something like that. I don't know. Not confident about that. This looks like racehorses. Oh, it is. It is racehorses. I did know this. Yes. Racehorses are all given the same birthday, January 1st of of the year. That is that is true. I did know that. Okay. So, and that's why that's why birthdays in quotation marks because they they aren't literally literally all born on this born on the same day, but in terms of the the date officially designated as their birthday, it is all the same. Okay. You've got nothing to worry about. Rest, oh, rest easy. There we go. I think that's probably correct. Taro and Jikama, those are roots. They're, oh, tubers. Right. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that kind of root vegetable, like potatoes, which are tubers. Okay. Uh, I think that's right. Kelvin or Newton, those are units, scientific units of measurement. Um, and what are they exactly? Kelvin is temperature and a Newton is... Is it energy? What is a new? What is a Newton measure? Boy, it's absurd that I don't know that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, they're units. <laughs> secretly feel. Um, to secretly feel something. To home theater purchase. An HDTV maybe. Shoe brand with an iconic checkerboard design. Oh, Vans maybe. It's a shoe brand. Yeah, I can picture checkerboard vans. Diamond measurement. So is it is it a diamond, the precious stone, or is it a diamond, the mathematical shape, or is it a geometric shape, or is it diamond, it's sort of a baseball diamond, a field of play? I don't know. Could be any of those things or more. Secretly feel, laundry room detritus. I was going to think dust something, but no. It doesn't fit with tubers, which I think is correct. Glum drops. That sort of sounds like gum drops, but isn't um, tears. If you're glum, you're sad. Tears could drop from your eyes. Oh, diamond measurement area. Okay, so it could be the shape or the, I suppose, the baseball diamond, um, the area of a two-dimensional uh, polygon. 
title paratrooper in a 1998 war film. Oh, it must be saving, saving uh, Ryan from Saving Private Ryan. Oh, to secretly feel, to harbor feelings for somebody, to secretly feel them. I harbor, or I harbor jealousy. I secretly feel jealousy. There we go. That's very good. And that's nice because there's nothing, this isn't, um, neither of these words is is being used in a punny way or outside of its um, totally ordinary meaning, but you just, you know, to secretly feel something, you think it means feeling something uh, physically in a kind of surreptitious way, but no, it's just a nice, nice little bit of misdirection. Choir section, you could have a tenor section in a choir as in um, soprano, alto, alto, tenor, bass. Laundry room detritus, a dryer lintz or dryer sheet, maybe? Um, let's see, it might get smoked. Smoked ham, you could have, um, if you, if you elect not to steam it. And pro fighter, oh, anti, that's very, that's very good. So pro fighter as in someone who fights against uh, somebody who's pro, who's in favor of a proposition or a bill or something. If you're anti, it's here on the other side. 65% EG is most. I think probably that's the answer. Greek philosopher known for uh, reductio ad absurdum arguments. So Zeno um, formulated multiple paradoxes. My, one of my favorite of Zeno's uh, kind of thought experiments is the one that sort of suggests in order to walk from this point to, I don't know, any any arbitrary point, or I think this was demonstrated, maybe this was an arrow, I think was also used to Zeno's arrow, maybe. But I always think of it as walking. If you have to walk from here to there first, well, you have to walk half the distance, of course, uh, and then you have to walk half of the remaining distance, and then you have to walk half the remaining distance of that. Those are all parts of the distance you have to um, to traverse, but you will never, if you, if you actually follow that out and you keep walking half the remaining distance, you will never actually arrive at your destination. You will sort of just, you will approach a, a fixed point, but never actually, never actually reach it. Um, which obviously is, uh, is absurd because we can walk from place to place, but there's, uh, uh, there's a way of sort of reducing that walk in a way that, that, that renders it, uh, absurd and unworkable. Uh, subject of a statue, statue that was one of seven, seven wonders of the ancient world. Um, Zeus, is that correct? Particulars and for yes, the deets, the details, and brightest point in Canis Major, familiarly. Um, what are some star names that start with D? Uh, Deneb, is that a star? It's obviously not this one. Ain't that the truth? Gunpowder plot, 1605 English conspiracy. Remember the remember the 5th of November gunpowder treason and plot. The Guy Fox um, plot to blow up Parliament. All right. Low-cut lace, laceless shoes are pumps. Many a Porsche 911 uh, coupe. A, um, are there Porsche 911s that aren't coupes? Is there a Porsche 911 sedan? Interesting. There must be some other model of it for this clue to make sense. Um, anyway, coupe a two-door two -door car. Stop putting in effort. To stop putting in effort is to, oh, to coast. Right, you could sort of just, just uh, start mailing it in. I've never seen anything like it. That's new to me? No, that's a new one. Doesn't fit either. I don't know. Anyway, probably starts with that. Like a sore loser, perhaps. A sore loser is, hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, serial, oh, serial comma, right, okay. This is <laughs> the serial comma. This is an element of, uh, I think, I think by um, Oxford comma and serial comma, I believe that's the same concept. And uh, here in the UK, it is common to not use the serial comma. In other words, in a list of things, to not put the comma before the and, and I find that extremely objectionable. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. I think you don't gain anything from it. All you do is lose a bit of clarity. So I'm a big fan of the serial comma. 
Game you can't stand to win. Musical chairs, right. Oh, that's very clever. Um, because standing is what causes you to lose the game of, of musical chairs. So you can't stand to win it. Very good. Prefix with, with phone. How do I not know what this is immediately? What some QR codes contain? URLs maybe? A QR code often leads to, uh, to a web address. A URL, a uniform resource locator. Take the edge off, say. I mean, to blunt, or is there something? What else would this be? Erode, maybe? You could erode an edge. A hill worker. Oh, an aid. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Look at that. So we had hill worker here, and, <laughs> and I mentioned the other possible meaning of hill worker, somebody who works on Capitol Hill, and here it is. You could have a congressional aid. Very, very good. All right. Decoupage need. Decoupage need. Glue. Is that a sort of arts and crafts thing, I think? Prefix with phone. Oh, megaphone. Right, of course. Okay. You could shout through a megaphone. And it's all inclusive. A something. Baby at my breast in a Shakespearean tragedy. Oh, an asp. Somebody, I think somebody said I was going to, I, um, in one of the comments. Oh, no, maybe they're referring to, I don't know. I think we're I think we're now referring to the asp as the official snake of the New York Times crossword. I think that is correct. I can't remember if someone proposed that or if I proposed it, but in any case, uh, I think it's at this point it's clearly justified. It's all inclusive. Oh, soup soup to nuts. Yes. Okay. So the phrase soup to, is one of those strange strange English language idioms. Um, soup to nuts refers to something in its entirety. So often people will say we're going to kind of redevelop this whole thing, soup to nuts, from top to bottom. Ain't that the truth? Tell me about it. There we go. Oh, pouty. This was a sore loser. Yes, like a sore lo loser, perhaps they're pouting. So they're being very pouty. And if one achieves something, one pulls it off. Yes. Okay. Common Jesuit school name. Oh, Loyola is in Loyola Marymount University. That's a Jesuit, Jesuit university. Um, certain loophole is an eyelet, maybe? So a literal, uh, an eyelet is a literal uh, loop through which you can put a shoelace, for instance. I think eyelets are the name for the uh, loopholes on shoes. But of course, we also know loopholes um, in, a, in a figurative sense to mean a you know, gap through which you can, uh, in, in sort of legislation or regulation that you can, you can find a way through. Things to believe in are tenets of faith, perhaps, and slightly favors with two, leans to, leans towards something, slightly favors it. Actor Esparza with four Tony nominations. I don't know. Uh, Saul? Lobster pot, e.g. Not sure. Oh, a trap. A, a tra oh, Raul. Raul Esparza. Okay, there we go. That looks correct. I don't think I know the name, but that uh, must be a, a Broadway stage actor. And then upfront payment before a deal is made is an ante, so you could put down and put down uh, money initially. And then, all right, lobster pot is a trap. We looked at that. So for catching lobsters, and alternative to an elbow is pst. okay. So alternative to elbowing somebody to get their attention would be to make that sound. Okay, so like hyperbolic comments over the top. Yes, very good. Postseason college football game formerly sponsored by Tostitos. Um, there are quite a few football games that are bowls, um, like the Rose Bowl, for instance, F Fiesta Bowl, I think I've heard of, I guess that would explain why it's sponsored by Tostitos because of the Spanish language sort of element of the name. So, oh, and I, I guess at a Fiesta, I suppose you could serve Tostitos, I suppose. All right, there we go. So through is via. I'm going from here to there via this other point. Contronym that means moving quickly or not moving at all. Fast. Yes, very good. So if you're moving quickly, you're moving fast. But also if you're standing fast, you're not moving at all. Some kings but not, uh, so, sorry, some queens but not kings are T T's. No, why would that be the case? Some queens but not kings. 
Oh, bees. You have a queen bee, but no king. There's no king bee. Who's who filler informally? Uh, bio, so who's who is a... Um, do they still publish those books of, I don't know, just generally important people, I suppose, and uh, full of, I guess, little capsule biographies? I've never seen anything like it. That's a first. And if something becomes difficult to see through with up, it fogs up. To increase is to, oh, boost. Oh, oh, maybe this is wrong. Like hyperbolic comments over. So what is this? Brightest point in Canis Major familiarly. Oh, the dog star. Right. And of course, Canis, um, uh, the, the dog connection is, is, is right there from the Latin. So there we go. All right. So overstated hyperbolic comments. Okay, there we go. That works just as well as what I had. Uh, like some brie cheese, presumably. <laughs> First thing that came to mind is rindy, as in it has rinds. That's not, not a word. Uh, blank Bakr, close advisor of Muhammad. Uh, Ab Abi? Could this be rind? No. I don't know. Sorry, I'm not sure. Scores and scores. A ton. Axed. Hewn is in... Uh, axed a tree, felled a tree. Bluefin alternative, that's a tuna, so ahi tuna. Without direction is idle. Like some... Oh, runny. Oh, sorry. Without direction is idly. Yes, okay. Because this is this is an adverb, so we... You know, she was operating without direction. She was operating idly. There we go. So this is a runny cheese. Abu Bakr is the answer here. And then, is that the puzzle? No, it's not. I have something wrong. Sorry. I'll take a look at this and I'll, I'll edit out the wasted time if it takes me ages. Oh, I simply spelled racehorses incorrectly. Rare horses. What was this? Oh, and I never looked at this. Result of a split decisions, right? So you could have a religion could split into multiple sects. So here we go. That's it. That's funny. I think I said racehorses several times and... <laughs> And uh, describing the answer to this clue. Sorry if you saw that well ahead of me and were baffled. Uh, rare horses. I suppose some race horses are rare. Um, anyway, there we go. That was the, the puzzle. It's a great Friday puzzle. It's just a really nice grid with lots of interesting, wide-ranging answers. Plenty of bits of misdirection, but nothing nothing really brutally difficult. Just a, just a nice, uh, appropriately challenging Friday puzzle. Uh, that doesn't doesn't lay it on too thick. It's laid on its feet. It's just a great great construction, as we expect from Robin Weintraub. So well done to her, as always. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. And let me quickly just let me quickly address a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. These might not be all of them, but I'm just going to do a few before I go do my my mini puzzle recording for the patrons. And oh right, so two people commented on this. Sean Monahan commented, Saitan is made of wheat, right? I had, I had guessed it was maybe the answer to a soy, a, a clue about soy-derived protein. And Ra Ra goes into more detail. Tofu and tempeh are soy-based vegan protein items. Saitan is made from wheat gluten, not soy. Another one that may come up is corn, which is made from mycoprotein, a type of mold. There we go. Thank you for that. I uh, should have remembered that, but I absolutely did not. Uh, and then, as I alluded to earlier, Chinoe333 points out that Giselle is pronounced with a soft G. Her name in Portuguese is actually pronounced uh, Giselle, but she says people in the, uh, Giselle, but people in the U.S. during casting constantly mispronounced it. So now she's widely known as Giselle. So sorry for doubly for compounding the mispr mispronunciation of, of her name from its already slightly corrupted form. And, uh, and that's that. I'm going to move on to um, take that time for that other recording. But thank you so much for joining me for today's uh, fun Friday puzzle. I enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. And I'll be back tomorrow for another themeless puzzle, the second of two for the week, the Saturday crossword. Join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.